Finally, what? Oh, what are we to do with our good friend Philip Corrigan? Philip, do you know what you've written? Philip Corrigan, the enemy of theoretical terrorism. How on earth did your typewriter encompass that sentence? The most defeatist and terrorist of all I've ever read. I quote, It seems to me time, to be honest, to recognize that history is a cultural form engaged in practices of regulation just like law. It is one of the ways in which the subordinated are encouraged to agree to their own confinement. Yes, that, that's, what, that's what he has written. Not that history can sometimes be that. Not that this is an ideological deformation or capture of history, which may go on in certain academic circles, but that history is just that, a practice of regulation like law by which the subordinated are encouraged to agree to their own confinement. Henderson Hurst, come back! All is forgiven. <laughs> no blow you struck was ever as kind, unkind as that. Now, I hope that Phil is going to withdraw this formulation, or at least qualify it. For if he does not, I must come to regard him against all other evidence, which is manifold, as someone who thinks that theory is no more than a seminar game, in which one can say any damn thing one likes, and each practitioner outbids the other in the daring and ferocity of their formulations, which formulations carry no loads and bend no pins in any real world. No intellectual discipline or art is a cultural form engaged only in practices of regulation, not even law. History is a cultural form within which we fight, and many have fought before us. Nor are we alone when we fight there, for we are historians because we know that the past is not dead, inert and confining, but is thronged with energies which can be brought once again to our side. Thank you.